I'm here with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS laptop. This particular ASUS laptop it comes with an AMD A10 processor and the exact model for this one is an ASUS X550Z model. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can clean up the fan and the heatsink and your thermal paste. If yours is overheating and is over throttling then this video is for you. And this method applies for any X550 series. It doesn't have to be particularly a Z version. So don't worry about that part. Now, the tools that you're gonna be needing, it's simple. Uh, opening tool, I use a guitar pick, a metallic guitar pick for the opening tool. And for the screwdriver set, I've been using a lot of screwdriver sets and one of the best screwdrivers that I've came along with is the iFixit tool set. They have one of the best durable bits out there. These are S12 class steel that they don't go bad if you try to open as many you want. And trust me, we open so many screws in my shop. So we're going to be using the Phillips number zero from this screwdriver set. Actually, they provide you a pro kit which gives you opening tools and many other stuff. And again, you will need a thermal paste. I use the Arctic MX4, or you can use a, a little better one which is much more expensive a Thermal Grizzly uh, thermal paste. But for my clients, I usually use the Arctic MX4. Uh, but if some client want a specific one, I uh, will provide two. And you need a tweezers and some any tools. Also, you need a towel, a working towel. I'll leave the link in the description too. And one of the main one is an alcohol. This is 95, 98% alcohol. Again, the link is in my description. So let's get into it and open it up. First thing first, you want to remove all the screws at the bottom cover. Just keep in mind the front three screws, this one over here, this one here, and this one over here, these are the shorter screws, so remove them first and put them to one side so you don't mix, mix them with the rest. So this is small screws, these are the only small screws on the bottom cover. And now the rest and the one in the middle, these are the longest one and they have the same size and height. So don't worry about mismatching them. And again, I want to take a moment and thank you guys for supporting my channel and subscribing and giving that likes up button if my videos help you guys. I see only 1% of the, my viewers subscribe or give likes. It really helps and motivates me to make more videos if you guys could subscribe and like the video if you liked it and it helps you guys out. I really appreciate it. All right, now that we remove all the screws, there's no more screws to remove. You're gonna open up the laptop about 45 or 90 degrees. We're gonna grab our opening tool and we're gonna stick it between the top and the bottom cover of the case. Uh, just force it in there about two or three millimeters. You don't need to stick the whole thing in there. Now, what you wanna do, you just wanna twist it Go this, do the same thing all around to the corners. Make sure you hit those clicks. That's what you want to hear. Go to the side by the jacks. Go all the way to the back corners. Do the other side. Now you can see the as is open a little bit. So do by the heat sink side. Once you finish the side, the front. You want to open it up, but and you don't want to yank this top part because there's some flex cable down here. We need to loosen up, otherwise you're going to rip them apart. This big flex cable has a little adhesive right at the back here. So what you want to do, you want to put your fingers right at the back and then pull it up so you can peel that uh, adhesive. To unlock this clip right here, you have to push this white plastic towards the inside the laptop about a little bit, just like that and hits a little about one millimeter press the other side both side now you can pull the cable backward easily now this one over here you want to lift up this black cover right here 
and then pull the cable back. Yeah, on off switch, lift up, and the cable should go backward and it should come up. Now you can open up the laptop and lift up the top palm rest. You can go ahead and clean it up if you want. All right, the fan is right here. The heatsink is in the other side. So this model, they don't make life easy. So you have to remove the whole motherboard. First thing first, we're gonna disconnect the battery by pulling this jack backward towards the battery. So grab it from here and then pull it back and the jack will come out. We need to remove the hard drive by removing first this flex cable that goes to the USB hub right here. So remove the four screws that hold the hard drive caddy in place. Slide the hard drive towards the USB. You're gonna see a gap opening right there and then you can go ahead and peel up the hard drive. Lift up the hard drive. To remove the optic drive, there's only one screw right here. Remove this screw. And this one has a, the cover is broken on this one. So I'm gonna lift it up a little bit and then I'm gonna slide it towards the outside. And then you see a gap opening. There's a tiny hinges here and here so i can't lift it up i have to slide it all the way back all the way to the side we're gonna pull this cable to remove the speaker cable right there now we have to lift up this power jack so lift up the power jack untangle it from here so there's a little plastic untangle it bring it all the way here we're gonna remove the flex cable for the screen. So lifting this cable back and now we're gonna pull it towards the fan. Evenly, so don't pull it sideways. This is delicate. So untangle the cable. Leave it somewhere over there. And the last thing would be remove the Wi-Fi antenna cable just by pulling them up. Now twist them to back side. Go ahead and remove all the screws that they have a white arrow beside them. There should be a few of them. One over here, there's another one. One in the middle. These are the same size. One right by the flex cable. This side of the fan. By the heat sink. Right by the audio jack, by the LED lights, right over here, and the one right by the fan at the back in here. All right, once you did all that, you can go ahead and lift. Oh, there's one more right here by the Keyboard flex, nice sneaky one. You can go ahead and lift it up, and there we have it. There's no ventilation down here. You can see the intake. It has to go. Air has to travel all the way from here, from here all the way in. And there's a, this tray here doesn't prevent from air going through. So GG for that. So next. We're gonna flip it over, uh, place it like this, and you're gonna see the heatsink right here. If you have a little GPU, you might have a bracket over something like this over here. So maybe another plate underneath here. This one doesn't have any GPU or anything like that. And this is the battery for the BIOS battery right here. First thing first, disconnect the fan cable just by pulling this jack upward towards the ceiling. Remove the four screws. One is under the warranty label. Put your hand underneath or let's put this laptop cover back somewhere else so we can work on the motherboard nicely here. Remove the four cable for the X clamp for the heatsink. Cannot put it there, so I have to put my hand underneath. So you need lots of pressure to open and remove this one sometimes. 
so you have to press hard down on them so I'm putting my finger on the back side so I don't curve or bend the motherboard you have to use lots of force otherwise it's gonna you're gonna damage the screw heads press down hardly but make sure you press from the other side too and there is the old thermal paste and you can see it's kind of watery that means it's not doing its job well so in order to clean the heat sink right here you have to remove this tape right on top so find the edge of the tape and peel it off there we go now you can just grab toothbrush and go ahead and clean up the duct heat sink right there now you can see it is really covered up you can go ahead and lift it up use an old toothbrush or the new one if you want different your style and go ahead and clean up this fan all right down here we're gonna clean up the cpu and gpu which is an apu right here so grab a towel working towel the alcohol soak it in and you want to gently rub it right over the cpu and clean up remove all the thermal paste that is on the crystal die You don't have to clean up every bit of the thermal paste all around as long as you clean the crystal die you find and then grab the heat sink and remove the thermal paste of the heat sink all right now what you want to do you want to grab the your favorite thermal paste in this case i'm going to use an mx4 you want to apply a tiny drop in the middle with this is a square shape fair amount of the drop right in the middle if you have your gpu apply there on the your gpu too and the next thing would be to grab your heat sink and once you clean it up put it back together the way it's supposed to be and then tape it down so the airflow goes through the heat sink align it nicely over the heat sink once you put it down you don't want to lift it up again and then hold it with one hand with the other hand put the screws one by one if you lift up the heat sink it's going to create an air bubble so try not to lifting it up once you put two screws cross each other then you can let go and put the rest of the screws i'm holding i don't want to press on the motherboard so i hold it from the other side so i can tighten up the screws Put the fan jack in, just push it in, alright, once we finished up here, you want to grab the whole model, the whole base, bring it over, make sure everything is connected, and I put down the I.O. side and the fan side down first, remove the cables underneath, make sure it's not in the way, run the cable for the power jack, if she goes all around, bring it all the way there, put it right down there, squeeze it there, lay it down flat. You have to be sitting down flat here. Put the speaker cable in place, grab the Wi Fi antennas and align it on top, and they are snapped on, so snap it on place. You snap the white one first the shorter one then grab the bigger one put it right there run the cable for the lcd flex put the contact beside the jack and then you want to hold it from the side of the jack cable and then pull it towards the inside the laptop make sure you do it evenly and you should see zero gap right there opening and then put it back together grab the hard drive put in an offset position make sure you see this gap right there and then slide it towards the motherboard the screw holes must match now we're going to grab and put all the screws on the motherboard including the four screws for the hard drive caddy 
these screws are all the same size so don't worry about mismatching these screws you can go ahead and put the dvd rom drive now slide all the way in so you can put this screw right here and there's one more screw that i'm missing right away here. all right once you have all the screws in the jacks the connector in plug in the extra usb connector right here slide it right underneath and then close the lid and the last thing would be to grab the battery put it right on the motherboard right there and then push it towards the motherboard mm, double check make sure everything is in place nicely put the palm rest top cover right by the back end align it right there make sure it's sitting nice in there and now you want to bring it close it down you want to keep it with one hand open in 45 degree angle make sure these locks are open you stick it between the bottom and the top plastic right there right inside make sure the locks are open it has to go in once you feel that is inside hold it with one finger with the other finger just pull back these two triggers backward all right now same thing here you want to open up this lock 90 degrees you stick the flex cable right underneath and then push the lock in place so you have to go under and then close the lock on top with this one at the back is the same thing open up this white cover you stick the cable underneath from the back end and close the lid now you can just come back and then pinch the top and bottom cover and make sure it does click go all around press everywhere like at the back end all that and that should be all now you last thing is to flip it back upside down remember the short three screws they go in front of the laptop and the long ones goes all over the rest of the laptop i hope you liked this video and it helped you guys to do your own service if it did please click the thumbs up button and if you have any questions or requests please leave them in the comment area and i'll try to get back at you guys as soon as possible Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting all this.